hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I have been gone for almost a month, but I did say that I don't know how often I'd be posting. And when I do post, it could potentially be bangers and it could potentially do nothing. But as a tattoo connoisseur, even though I have zero tattoos yet, we are going to be looking at the worst tattoos ever. I'm pretty excited for it because some people can make some really terrible decisions. I'm assuming that is Pikachu, but whoever's done it has... <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that doesn't look like Pikachu. Well, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. I don't really know how to... We wanted to save money on tattoos, so you decided to do it yourself? I'm assuming... I, I don't... I, I, I think with a bit of a touch-up and some colouring... Shoot up. What the fuck? I'm assuming that someone has done a tattoo, didn't like it, then scribbled it out. How do you recover from that? There's no way of making a tattoo or fixing a tattoo from doing that. So how do you know for this one? I'm assuming it's supposed to be two wolves. I don't know how you mess up a wolf tattoo. I, just don't, I don't even know how you mess up tattoos in general. The, the caption does, to be fair, say these are two wolves. How has this got 424 upvotes? I will never know. By the way, we are looking at Reddit, by the way. Just like, you know. How do you screw up a tattoo that bad? They just look like really bad wolves. Please, if you're going to see a tattoo artist, make sure they've got good work, otherwise you will have shit. I'm assuming that that says ah, Ahagio or Ahigio Centipede. That looks like a bunch of people that just, oh it is, it literally just a bunch of faces with like centipede, oh, like sure. something like See, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good either, like, I'm assuming this costs around a hundred pound, maybe 150, maybe 200, I'm just gonna go up in 50s again, but it doesn't look bad and it doesn't look good, it's not something personally that I would get. Why don't you just get a normal tattoo or a normal centipede tattoo, why does it have to have faces on it, that's just... That's weird. Patrick Swayze Kento, I think, or Centaur or something like that. My favourite ever bad tattoo. <laughs> wow. I mean, I've seen some bad tattoos, literally. But that just, that's a whole different level of bad. Oh my God, I mean, I get, I get it. It's Patrick Swayze and a horse combined into one. I'm assuming that whoever's done this is like their third, maybe fourth time doing tattoos. I don't know, but that is, um, you wouldn't ever get, uh, yeah, I, I could never. I could never. What in the meow? This is the, th this is the thing, right? Get a tattoo all you want. Get a stupid one. Like, for example, the no regrets thing from the Millers. But when it comes to tattoos like this, you can clearly see that if it's badly drawn like that. Wait, what if they wanted it to be drawn badly drawn like that? But even then, there's no eyes. Where's the eyes? It's all one colour. Like, there's no eyes. Self-proclaimed best artist. See, this isn't good, but it's also not bad. Like, the shading's good, and the, the cross actually looks good. The only thing I've changed is the, the beads and then the, the cross for the necklace. The rest of it is actually somewhat decent. I mean, oh, they've got more. See, no, it's not bad, but it's not good. Like, I wouldn't personally get that at all. But, that's not bad. Mileage is power. No. Oh. My days. Knowledge is power. But it's no knowledge. How the fuck you decide to mess something up so simple? I mean, I guess if, I don't know, if you can't spell, sure, but even then your tattoo artist should know how the fuck to spell knowledge. What the actual fuck? Why would you allow someone to tattoo that on your What even is that? Is it an arm or is that a car? No, because it bends off his arm, so it must be a fucking four. Oh, it's this bit of the arm. Oh, that's even worse. And it's red. Oh. Oh no. You're a fucking psycho when we got that. Also, I cannot stress this enough. Go to a tattoo artist who is fucking good and knows what they are doing. And oh my days, the amount of tattoos where you get a shit tattoo because you either haven't paid attention to the person's work or you have a little money. 
Even when you have a little money. Get a tattoo you can afford that's good, not just go, oh yeah, knock off a few letters. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. We are, I, I know I said I'd be back anytime soon, and again, I don't know how long it's going to be till the next upload. But, again, make sure to like and subscribe. We're nearly at, I hope, 1000. I think we're like 922 by the time this is out. Um, but yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.